Hello there everyone. Right, well it's been four weeks since we were last at the pilot field for a first team game. Um, the Lewis match, very difficult for all concerned. Billericay Town today, a one-all draw as it turned out. A frustrating game I guess in the end but a point and maybe a decent result under difficult circumstances. Yeah, I, I, you know, we, we just said to the lads after the game like we should be really positive with with the situation we find ourselves in. I mean, we, you know, they're, they're obviously fourth, third, fourth, um, you know, a decent side, and and um, you know, I look at that game today, and I think, well, if that's if that's the level, then we've got a lot to be excited mm. about in the present and the future. Because I mean, as I said, we haven't played for a month, which has been challenging. Um, but I think we made the best of it. Ideally, we would have played a couple of friendlies in there, but the problem is, is the um, extensive facilities in the town yeah. mean that they don't get much access to 3G. So if our pitch isn't available, it pretty much rules most options out. So uh, in terms of playing friendlies and bits and pieces like that, so we've we've tried to prepare as best we can, and I, I was really pleased with the mm. with the lads. Uh, as I said, they're they're right at the top of the table. Um, you look at their their squads and the players at their disposal and you think that's a, that's a very very yeah. good group of players um, it's a big club and as I said if that's if that's the, the benchmark then we've got an awful lot to be excited about now and moving forward because I, I, I thought I thought we created some great opportunities I thought we worked the ball in some really good positions I thought the final ball wasn't as good as it could be but you know, semi understandable with the mm. time off um, yeah, I think if that game goes on for much longer, we end up winning it. So physically, we look strong. So, you know, we were we were really, you know, we were pretty positive about it because, as I said, it's a point gained. Um, results around us have, I wouldn't say they've gone for us, but you know, it doesn't do too much damage to us in terms of the league table. And yeah, no, we're, we're um, you know, we're we're, we're feeling pretty positive um, with all the factors taken into account. As I said, the big thing is I look at Billy Ricky and. I think, well, you know, I, I watched the first game between the two teams a couple of months ago. Yes. Or a few months ago now. And uh, during the sort of interim between myself and the previous manager, and, you know, I think today was a real indication of how far we've come because mm. I thought I thought we dominated them. I mean, Billericay, they kicked it forwards quickly. Yes. They tried to win first, they tried to win seconds, and... Uh, played in our half, which is fine. It's you know their prerogative. Um, played for set pieces, but I just thought they were pretty basic. Yeah. Um, and I thought, as I said, from our perspective, with the way that we went about it, and the way that we played, we the the minimum we deserved was was um, was a point. Yeah, and uh, they were, uh, I think, workmanlike. I said to you yeah. just before we switched the camera on, and I mm -hmm. think that was how it felt. The, the, the thing is with that, though, like we've been workmanlike. It's, obviously, it's really important, but you look at the level of player they've got. Mm. I think they should be better. They well, should be better than like, that. Workmanlike, yeah. I'd like to think, would be the bare minimum. To be yes. honest, when you when you yeah. go through their list of players, and you know the players that aren't even in their squad today, and you're going, you know, that's he's, he's played this level. He's played step two he's played step one you know he's, he's played football league you're going Christ you know it's, mm. it's, this is you know, this is exciting you know you want yes. that uh, that type of test against that level of opposition and I just think workman like well yeah but again each their own yeah yeah no I, I understand what you're saying from our point of view um, whilst the, the rustiness of the team was apparent because of that layoff mm. and the lack of friendlies uh Individual performances were good. Ansu yeah. was back was back at the pilot field proper for the mm. first time. Sam yeah. was back and looking pretty cool at the back. Uh, the we had um, Sam McCoy back yeah. at last from injury. Obviously, Tommy Fag back from yeah. injury. So that's the one thing the layoff has given you is those players back. Mm. And Ansu looked much more settled into the game than he did at Ashford, for example. I thought he played really well today. Yeah, I thought Ansu was a uh, player of the match, actually. I thought he was excellent. Mm. I thought Crutz was very good as well. So, yeah, no, he's, he's, uh, I thought he was really impressive, actually. Mm. And, you know, the challenge for Ansu and, and Crutz is it's, it's been a really good start. They've played a big, big part in today's 
decent performance. As I said, another point on the board. Um, just got to, just got to kick on and make sure that's the that's the platform to then uh, improve and go again. But I thought I thought answer was very good. Um, Sam McCoy is improving all the time, and Tommy Fag. As I said, I mean he's he's nowhere near his best, but mm. if you, if you're going to score a goal, you know he's pretty good chance he's going to be on the either the person putting it in or, mm. or or assisting someone which he done today so he's so effective um, so yeah no, lo- loads of positives really really um, coming away from the game right as I said we've won some games and you think that was pretty bleak but and you know you sort of scrape for it whereas today we're really happy really pleased with with where we're at and mm. I think it's a really good platform for us to build on again yeah I think that was a, that was super positive the, the way that um, Tommy set up that goal the way the ball mm. ba- bounced awkwardly mm. but he was onto it quick yeah. and the, the cross was fierce wasn't it mm, and great delivery. obviously uh, to see Will yeah. score his first goal proper at the pilot yeah, field I'm, I'm sure he scored probably quite a few as a youngster coming yeah. up but um, and you know then he went to Little Common but back and his first goal for yeah, the first team at the pilot. Field. Yeah, I'm delighted for him. Yeah, delighted for him. It's, you know, those moments are some of the some of the reason I sort of love doing this job because mm. you see, you see someone with no reputation at all, sort of, you know, well and truly under the radar. That you know, people look at the team sheet and they don't know who he is, and see him come on, and the first thing he do uh, does is knocks a centre back out Ooh. of the way you know like really physical really aggressive and then I thought his finish was superb because like, we've missed chances like that yes. in recent weeks if, we, yeah. if we'd if we'd been as clinical as what Will has been in, on that occasion we probably would have um, you know, put even more points on the board so I'm just delighted for him I'm really pleased I think when when the ball's moving at that sort of speed, yeah. it's so much harder to get that. I mean, the, to get well, especially that on that pitch contact, as well, yeah. because you know you get a googly every two two yes. seconds. The ball moves <laughs> around the pitch, so you know it's a great finish. You know, I'm just really pleased because you know I've been doing loads of work with him around his first time finishing and uh, in and around the penalty box, and you know because when he gets set and shifts it, he's a very very good finisher. Was one of the things that. You know, uh, he wanted to go after and we felt he needed to go after was those first time um, finishes so the way he arrived onto it mm. the fact he was there I yeah. know it sounds really basic but in the games that he's played he nearly scored against Carl and he nearly scored against Horsham he's obviously scored today in the games he's played he's getting chances which mm. which is a real positive sign and just I'm just so pleased for him that he's, he's uh, you know scored today and I'm just pleased it's contributed to a to a decent result yeah, just would say though, Will, next time, make a bit more of a meal of it. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you're 25, you can grab yeah. the ball and run back to the halfway line, but your first goal at the pilot field, <laughs> yeah, that's I, a big thing, mate. After, <laughs> after the game, it was funny because obviously disappointing not to win because we you know, we felt we deserved to win, but he, he said with the straight face, I'm buzzing. But, so, but he, didn't, he didn't want to appear too happy yeah, and yeah. sort of upbeat because obviously the result. But yeah, no. It's, Why not? I guess that's one of the things I, I love to see. I, I yeah. love it. So it's, uh, I think it's vindication as well of what we're trying to do. Yes. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm really pleased for it. No, that was good. So, so at the end, it came, you know, we came away with a point. I think you said... If there'd been 10 more minutes, yeah. we could have won it. Yeah. You could see that they, flap is the wrong word, but they were conscious of the fact that they were going to have to hang on mm. once we'd scored that goal, weren't yeah. we? So we did finish strongly. So the one thing I would say was that the players did look, okay, so the, the pattern of play sometimes was disjointed, yeah. but it looked as though they trained well whilst yeah. they away. Yeah, no, they're, they're, you know, they're in good shape. Uh, you know, it's, um, oh, we, as I said, like all in all, we were really pleased with, with how we went about it today, mm. um, you know, what, you know me. I'm very process driven, and you know, I try and look at the performance and try and detach that a little bit from the result. Because as I said, mm. there's been games where we've been absolutely terrible, and we've managed to win. And yes. you know, like you know, we're all made up with life, but you think, you know, it's not great. We got away with one, whereas I think Billericay have got away with one. Like, mm. You know, I'm quite confident saying we're the better side, and. Um, yeah, no, I, as I said, I, I, I step away from today really positive with where we're at and I feel like we're in a good position to to attack the remaining sort of 12, 
12, 13 games. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so we can put that one to bed. We're back in the game. Yeah. We're playing again. Everyone's got their boots dirty properly. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, that takes us to Tuesday. Yeah. Um, it's I suppose it's become quite a big deal now, hasn't it? Um, isn't it? It's um, I think those of us that were around last year when we played that semi final against Worthing, I think everybody appreciated what was at stake when we mm. played there. This time we go there again. Um, I think because of that, everyone really can see the importance of this game. Yeah, yeah. it is a big deal. Yeah, like it's an opportunity to um, go to a cup final mm. um, and with a with a group like we've got where it is on the young side you've probably only got a handful of handful of men in there that have played in cup finals in senior football uh, if that yes so I, I think in terms of like the group's development and what we want to do longer term mm. so you know if we don't if we don't um, get in the playoffs and we don't get promoted this year it sort of it, it, it bodes really well in terms of like bigger picture and you know the experience of playing in that cup final um, potentially the Amex could be invaluable but you know and you know just exposure to these high pressure games as well it's it's, it's, it's invaluable um, experience as I said against Little Hampton in the semi-final that's going to be really tough you know they, they they're a good side I, I think they I think they probably sit mid-table perhaps in mm. our league like they're decent they've got a lot of good players um, you know they they beat Bogner, I find they're sort of fighting above their weight yeah, they, no, in this competition. Yeah, but they're, yeah. They're, they're a good side. I mean, as I said, they've got some very good players in there. We've watched them a few times and they're, they're decent. And, you know, you don't beat Bogner unless you're a good side. I, no, I, I, sure. think, I think Bogner are one of the best teams we've played. So, uh, yeah, no, we go into that game and that's going to be really tough. Certainly not looking ahead to mm. thinking we're in the cup final by any stretch. But, no, good. But no, I just think it's all invaluable experience for a young group that longer term wants to do big things and mm. those sort of short term uh, experiences will be invaluable so it'll be, it'll be tough though we, we, we know that it'll be really tough but again like, we've got to a stage where so when I took over we were you know, we didn't expect to win games or there wasn't a feeling amongst the group that whoever we play we can beat them whereas now like Bill Ricky, yes they're in the playoffs but we fancy it yeah. and I, I think today vindicates that and when Hornchurch come in we fancy it I, you know so the Little Hampton game we're going to that and it's not really a change in mentality, mentality. it's now no, we fancy it like we, we you know we, we, we think we've got enough here to win so uh, yeah no we go into that game with the same attitude as what we've had today just with 90 minutes in the bank and a bit of mm. ring rust hopefully out, uh, the out of the system yeah yeah, so the only thing about that game is um, because of the changes of personnel we've had, yeah. there's the cup tie issue. So I think yeah. we lose Ollie. Do we lose Will? Did Will play? No, so, so we for, lose... For little common? That was part of the um, thinking around some of the recruitment as yes. well. So like um, we lose Ollie Black, which is big, Sam Crutwell, uh, Kian Moynes, Finn Chapman. Uh, yeah, but we we've obviously brought in Ansu. Yes, we've brought in Tommy Fag. Uh, we've brought in Sam Gale. Um, I'm probably forgetting someone. Um, and then JJ Walker will start. Mm. He thoroughly deserves a start. Oh, yeah, and he, well, every time he started, he's done himself real yeah, credit. He's done, well, he was due to start the last two games because mm. Sam Gale was unavailable. And he's both, been back at Gillingham, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been back at Gill, mm. so. JJ was due to start and deservedly so. Now both of those games get called off, and I, I feel for him to be fair because he's never let us down and he trains really well. So oh, we look at that. Yes, we're losing three or four, but the three or four coming in, we're you know we're pretty we're pretty confident we'll uh, be able to fill the void. And you know I don't I, don't, I certainly don't think we're any weaker. I think mm. I think we we look strong and as I said we went through the team that we're going to potentially play and we were really really happy with what we're putting out there it's stronger than what it was against Eastbourne Borough yeah so, good yeah good good okay so another positive note today was um, Tom Chalmers out there kicking a ball about yeah, had yeah. a little bit of tape on his knee but we saw him you know in layman's terms kicking a ball properly looked yeah, quite yeah. good yeah we're pretty confident Tom 
will be in the squad for Tuesday night. Oh, that's so, really well, nice. I mean, we probably could have put him in today. Um, but, you know, we, we just felt like we've, you know, it wasn't necessarily needed and not, not an unnecessary risk, but we just felt we had other priorities in terms of what we needed on the on the bench. But with, with uh, Tom, we're pretty confident. I mean, I, th- I think he could start. I do, that's I think brilliant. he could start. Like, if, if he's in training, he, he, he's full training. But it's just what's really important with injuries like that that Tom needs to feel like the he confidence. Can start. Yeah, like, yeah. and you know what I don't want to do is put him into a situation where he's not. Um, well, I don't mind him being uncomfortable. We're not too uncomfortable, so. Um, but as I said, I'll, I'll ring him up hundred times between now and Tuesday and yeah. make sure he's, he's in the right frame of mind for it. So, right, yeah, brilliant. Really I'm sure. News. Everyone will be really pleased to hear yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. And S- Sam went off, he's okay? Sam McCoy, yeah, it was yeah. just purely just to get um, a bit more attacking threat on the pitch or a different type of attacking yes. threat. You know, we, were, we were in the process of throwing a kitchen sink at it at that point. Mm. So, yeah, it was, um, yeah, pure, yeah, no, he's fine. He's, he's in good shape. And he's also covering a lot of ground now, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he yeah. really is covering a lot of ground yeah, up and yeah, down that yeah, left hand yeah. side. Yeah, yeah nice. No, it's, uh, it's part of the gig. Well, there's even more reason to keep the ball. <laughs> yeah. If you lose it, you have to run Go back 100 again. metres back. So, yeah, yeah no, he's, uh, he's in a good place. Good. So, yeah, a point today. Mm. Um, we move on. Little Hampton on Tuesday. Yeah. We'll worry about um, Chatham and Hornchurch in due course. Uh, look forward to Tuesday, really. Going to be good. Yeah, it's, be good. It's, it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. When, when we look at the run of games, we think, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty... That's pretty positive. It was something that Ben White actually said last week. He said, um, you know, we, we, we all sort of feel that March is going to define mm. where we finish in the season and uh, in terms of league position and obviously cup competitions. But, you know, like Ben was very keen to point out is we're in March and we're still right in amongst mm. it. Like there's mm. a lot of teams now that, you know, aren't really playing for much. They're sort of starting to look towards yes. like winding down for the summer and it's got their flip-flops on a little bit yeah oh, and, oh well sliders oh, these oh, days geez, isn't it <laughs> yeah, yeah. but now yeah, no we're just you know, we're just enjoying it we're enjoying um being right amongst it yeah so that's good brilliant and uh neil got the pitch back i spoke to neil yeah yesterday. i see that very good yeah very yeah, good so yeah so thank you to him for getting the pitch back and yeah. obviously you can go back and murder it by training on it again yeah definitely definitely yeah I'll, I'll uh, give Neil more work to do I, I, I feel for him to be honest because I like sometimes I almost feel bad saying okay, we, tra- like, we need to train on it we need to get yeah. out there but uh, this is a problem like and we haven't got any facilities locally no. like so it's, it's just um, the, the fact that we have to borderline abuse that is a real indictment really for mm. the facilities locally it's really frustrating like with the amount of um, I'm not going off on too much with tangent but with you know the emphasis on um, inclusion in the game whether it's men's women's you know disability uh, like the the academy youth football with with the with the with the real focus and the, the importance that's pinned on inclusion and numbers which is right. Yes. Then for the local area to not be able to mm. provide a facility fit for purpose to accommodate that is uh, it's an indictment, really, I think. Yeah, so, I, I agree. I mean, given the extraordinary work the club is doing across well, the board. I mean, uh, we've, we've, got, we've got hundreds and hundreds of children in the academy. Mm. Uh, boys, girls, as I said, we've got men, women's teams, we've got the disability team, you know, we've got college programmes, we've got so much going on and, uh, you know, credit to the owners and the people that run the academy and so much more behind the scenes that Mm. have driven the organisation to get to a point where it's got this amount of people wearing a Hastings United shirt participating in in, uh, in football and in grassroots football and again the the fact that there's, there's not a facility that's fit for purpose is is outrageous. It's, it's you know it's again, it's you know I'm quite passionate about stuff. I hate it when 
you know, there's these big slogans and phrases where people mm. come out that we are, oh, we want this, we want yeah. these numbers, we want, yeah. you know, we want to raise the amount of uh, girls playing football, we want to raise the amount of inclusion in terms of disability football, we want more boys playing football in grassroots, but we're not going to give you any facilities to, yes. uh, to, uh, to accommodate that. It's just, you know, it's very frustrating, but touch wood, somebody sort of um, wakes up yeah, and, uh, and, we, and, we, and we know that Ben, Ben W, and the gang are pressing on that all the time. Yeah, so, so we. I mean, they're they're amazing. The work they've been doing mm. behind the scenes, as I said, as you know, been uh, Ben, Glyn, Dean, they've all been there from day one. Metin, uh, Mark Gould, these guys of, you know, James Hopkins. You know, they've they're working so hard to yes. to try and um, provide um, an infrastructure for, as I said, for this amount of people to participate in 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 sport and as i said it's uh, you know they're doing a great job and their their sort of reward is long overdue yeah. so t- as i said touch wood it gets addressed because it's uh, it, it extends a lot far beyond just first team football and men's first team football there's so much there's so much more benefits to it yeah and w- yeah we talk about these individual games like today um, but that's the thing isn't it the club is an enormous concern now and it does so much for the community mm. and that can't be ignored and the future is bright yeah. the future is bright and it starts on tuesday yeah definitely definitely <laughs> it should be good here yeah, no, and we uh, look forward to it. it should be exciting few weeks yeah brilliant well, thank, thank you so you. much for talking no, to us again Andy, thank nice you to much. be back with you yeah, thank you and you and you